thank you for joining me for this walkthrough to Ola Dele Bamboy's show of works from the early 90s. Uh, you will hear a background which is sometimes a bit disruptive. It's actually the sound of the video which is also very central to the exhibition titled uh, The Hair or the Man. I come back to the video later on, but just to explain you where all these strange sounds are coming from. So we are starting here from the entrance with the series Defining Self-Sufficiency from 1992. These are large scale black and white silver gelatin prints. They are printed on fiber based paper. The artist produced them in London, uh, unassisted actually in his own dark room. So you see they really carry also the material manifestation, his hand, his understanding, his relationship to material, to the printing process. So it's more about, you know, uh, the feeling of the photograph, the contrast, rather than producing a materially perfect print. It's more what the print carries than the materiality or the lean materiality of the print itself. So these are images from a set of seven. Remarkable also for the fact that the artist shows himself in the nude, which within the chronology of uh, self-portraiture from Africa is actually uh, completely unique and a step forward. Again, if you think of the early 90s, to which these pieces were produced, that is uh, rather unusual and a, quite a radical contribution to how we understand black identity, how we react to the black body, how he presents his black body. He's of course very aware of our projections. So how can he counter those while at the same time also celebrating his individuality as well as his ethnicity? You see here the artist uh, faintly visible on a couch. You see him again reaching in another exposure, which actually are all done in camera, uh, reaching towards a chair, which is standing as a, a bedside table here. I'm turning now over to the second body of work, which is on display at the gallery here, uh, titled Celebrate. We see the artist uh, extending his bodily movements, his dance movements, his balletic movements in a very celebratory fashion with bands of gold, of red, of white. Again, multiple exposures, which can be sometimes quite confounding. You don't know this figure here, for example, is the head kind of chopped off, no, but it's a view from the back. So he plays really with the different possibilities of how to generate rather unusual images of the body. You see here again a double exposure where the hair is then almost like dripping or extending itself into runs of color. Very, very beautiful, very, very uh, powerful. Here the artist is red, resting on a closet. You see the door actually in triple exposure. So it's a triple exposure photograph. These are again printed from the negatives. They are hand pulled. There's no digital scanning or digital processes involved, which also results in a highly nuanced uh, coloration of the pieces. So there are eight works in this uh, series, collectively titled Celebrate. I'm turning now again towards the entrance. Here is the sixth work from the Defining Self-Sufficiency series. In the gallery we did not present all seven for special reasons. And I'm turning back to the entrance here and focus again on the video. 
you see the artist here after he shaved off his dreadlocks. Of course, dreadlocks are a sign of otherness. They are very exotic. Uh, they convey a sense of um, sexual prowess, attractiveness, etc. And he shed them after he visited his family again after a long separation. He came as a young teenager to the UK, uh, then um, went to schooling in Glasgow, studied art there. He also has a degree in chemical engineering and then visited his family again in Nigeria, who had left in the meantime as a 20, more than 20 year old um, young person. And, very important for him as a way, as a um, step of self-finding, of connecting back to his own culture, etc. Hence this um, shedding of the locks and the video asking the question, why did, you sh why did you shed the locks? Is it important, the hair or the man? Again, a quick overall look in the exhibition here. I hope you enjoy it and it would be of course wonderful if you could come and see it yourself. Thank you so much.